What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. I've been waiting almost a year for this product and well, it's finally here. This is Vessel Health. Inside the box, you'll find these daily wellness cards that give you real time feedback on some of your major biomarkers, including things like cortisol, hydration, and magnesium. Now, a year ago, I thought this was a genius concept, but after having tried the product, do I still feel like it lives up to the hype? Well, stick around as I give you my first impressions of Vessel Health, explain the science behind these wellness cards, and share my honest thoughts about the service they provide. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. Now, before we dive deep into the weeds, I have a disclaimer to make, and that is that the product I'm reviewing today is technically still in beta mode. No, I am not part of any beta testing program. In fact, I actually signed up for the product back in February when it went under the name Bloom Health. And so I expected to receive the final product in the mail this year. But as we know, 2020 came with a lot of production issues especially for health startups. And so I wanna be fair and transparent by telling you this, but also let you know that I will do an even deeper dive on Vessel Health once they've ironed out some of the kinks. That being said, I'm excited to share with you everything that you would get from Vessel Health as it stands today, starting with their wellness cards. So when you open up the Vessel box, inside you'll find a bunch of these color-coded test strips that you'll use to do the actual test. Now these tests are analyzing your urine sample, so they recommend that you do it first thing in the morning. You then download their app and start their three minute timer before scanning your card into their system. And from there, you get a pretty instantaneous readout of your wellness stats for the day, including cortisol, ketones, pH, hydration, magnesium, and vitamin C, B7, and B9. Now, I was initially drawn to this product because of the cortisol aspect. Also known as the fight or flight hormone, cortisol can be a great indication of how high your stress levels are. At the time of this recording, Vessel Health is one of the only companies I know of that can actually capture your cortisol in real time and one that you can repeat test over time. The company Everly Well has a sleep and stress test but it's a one-shot sample and it also costs 200 bucks. That being said, Vessel's cortisol health certainly isn't perfect. To start, I'm not entirely sure why they would ask you to measure your cortisol levels first thing in the morning, as this is typically the time in which your cortisol levels are the highest. Each time I took my test, my cortisol levels were sky high despite feeling well rested and having had a good night's sleep. Now, I actually reached out to the company to ask them about this and they acknowledged that cortisol is high in the morning, but didn't really offer much in the way of solutions. And number two, third-party tests show that the results are gonna only be about 50% accurate when it comes to making an exact match as you'll see in the charts here. Granted, this is a similar result to what you would actually get from a commercial kit, which just goes to show how difficult a marker cortisol is to measure, at least through a urine sample. Now I'll speak more to the pros and cons in just a sec, but first let's return to those wellness cards and what they actually tell you about your health. After the app captures and analyzes your sample, you're then given a score out of 100 for overall wellness, along with a handful of other health indicators like digestion, energy, focus, and even beauty. When you toggle through each category at the top, you'll see what markers contribute to the score based on the shaded in colors. The markers that don't count are simply grayed out. So taking all of these things into account, what do you actually do with these scores? And that's really where the Vessel app comes into play. With each marker tested, Vessel gives you a full breakdown of the science, links to research papers and studies, and concrete tips on how to improve your scores. And for this, we'll take a look at cortisol. As I mentioned earlier, my levels were consistently high each time I test it. So if I'm looking to bring that number down, 
Vessel has a long list of suggestions to help, but these aren't just your standard bullet points. As you'll see here, Vessel gives you detailed instructions on how to reset your circadian rhythm, what type of breath work to do and for how long, along with tips for working out and calculating your VO2 max. Within the app, you can then start building your own wellness plan and even set reminders on when to complete those tasks. And when it comes to things like vitamin deficiencies, they've also included a personalized food plan section. With each listing in their app, they've included a full breakdown of the vitamins you're missing and how much you would get per serving. Now the goal is to eventually link all of these suggestions straight to Amazon Fresh so you can essentially just get everything straight through the app but the platform is not quite there just yet. Now, before I jump ahead to the pros and cons, let's quickly touch on the science behind these strips. And we'll start with something very unscientific. If your standard pee stick and pregnancy test had a baby, pun intended, it would come out looking like the Vessel Wellness card. And let me explain. You see, the card itself combines elements of both tests including lateral flow and calorimetric assays. This technology has been around for decades, so Vessel didn't reinvent the wheel here, they just repurposed it. And while doing so, they also added some additional bells and whistles to account for changes in lighting and water consumption before taking the test. And while it's not FDA approved, they do include links to third-party tests on their site which includes a breakdown of accuracy per stat, and more on that in a sec. But I guess the real question I had going into this was why test urine over blood? Now I get that it's certainly less painful and probably more affordable to scale, but are you getting the same quality results? Now Vessel's argument is that urine can accurately reflect not only what nutrients we have consumed, but also how those nutrients are being utilized by looking at metabolites. And a few of the markers they look at, including pH, hydration, and ketones are commonly tested this way. So the results should be fairly accurate. But when it comes to things like magnesium, vitamin C, and even B vitamins, I'm just not certain that a three minute urine test can really cut it, at least not where the technology stands today. All of the research I've done in making this video still points to a blood draw as the gold standard for detecting vitamin deficiencies and excesses in the body. But that could change. As new companies like Vessel and Vivu emerge into the space, I imagine the technology is only going to get better as more money is poured into research and development. But for now, this is somewhat of a half-baked product with too many inaccuracies to consider it market ready, which leads me to the pros and cons of Vessel Health. Now on the plus side, this product is extremely user-friendly. Their wellness cards are super easy to do and really straightforward. And I really like the instantaneous results you get. It only takes three minutes to calibrate, which really beats the wait time involved in shipping a sample out to a lab. I also love the aesthetics of the app. It's really got a clean and modern feel and the way they designed it makes it feel pretty customized. And finally, there's the science. With every recommendation on their platform, you'll find dozens of links to scientific articles and clinical trials to back up their claims. And for that, I highly commend Vessel for what they're doing for the space. Now, that being said, I still don't think that this product is quite market ready just yet. To start, I wasn't able to get any readings on my B7 or B9 levels after taking the test multiple times. And I was pretty surprised to see that my results actually changed when I rescanned the same card using different light. And to prove I wasn't going crazy, my fiance did the same test multiple times as well and pretty much got the same results. And as for things like cortisol and hydration, I'm just not convinced that taking the test first thing in the morning is gonna give you the most accurate results. But this is certainly an area for further exploration down the line. And finally, I think the food recommendations they offer are still fairly limited and they do very little in the way of offering concrete supplement advice other than pointing you to their proprietary formula called Vessel Fuel. Now I realize that certain parts of the product are still in beta mode. So I'll be sharing my feedback with the company to hopefully help them improve. But I'm also a consumer too. And at 12.50 a card, I think it's only fair 
to be transparent with what you're going to get if you decide to buy the Vessel card as it stands today. I admit, maybe I was a little too optimistic about the end result when I clicked pre-order back in February, but I really want companies like Vessel Health to succeed. I think that the data they're looking to offer could be invaluable. And I think it's only a matter of persistence and time until we see that happen. So I would say save your money and hold off on Vessel for right now, at least until they roll out version 2.0. And I will be sure to give you my honest thoughts about that product when it happens. So thanks so much for watching. If you learned something, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And if you're interested in working with me or even just checking out the products I'm super excited about, then definitely head over to katytypea.com and just send me an email and say, hey, I would love to hear from you. So thank you again. And as always, I can't wait to catch you on the next one.